Alright guys, even here, and this video is going to be a prediction for 2019 Mr. Olympia. Yeah, it is a little bit early, but let's just do it, why the hell not? I am aware that many things can change in the meantime, many bodybuilders can decide to compete or not to compete, we are still not sure about many of them, but with what we got I will try to make my best prediction, and so let's just begin. And I think my safest bet for this year's Mr. Olympia would actually be Sean Roden. Yeah, he brought that fat and under muscle shape at the Pittsburgh Pro, looked very disappointing, not even like a bodybuilder really, but I'm thinking in 2018 at the Pittsburgh Pro he was much more muscular and much leaner, but he was prepping for 2018 Arnold Classic. He did not compete because he actually broke his jaw, but he stayed in shape and that's why he looked better in that Pittsburgh Pro than he looked this year. But this year he took it easy, after the Mr. Olympia he probably didn't even train or didn't train hard, he probably wasn't eating crazy big amounts of food, he was probably on low dosages of gear, probably, maybe, maybe even completely off of it, so he gave his body a break, he gave his body a rest. And now he started training hard, as you can see on his Instagram account, he's posting videos of him training very very hard. So there is a lot of time until Mr. Olympia and he also thinks that he is on the right spot, he thinks that he is doing things perfectly. So he has like 4 months from that Pittsburgh Pro until Mr. Olympia to get lean and to get more muscular. And if he really wasn't eating that hard, he can now start eating proper diet, he can actually start training very hard and he can start incorporating gear, right? So, I actually believe that he will bring his A game, he will be conditioned, he will be very conditioned, and with his body, his structure, he has really big chances, simply because he's complete, guys. Yeah, his arms are weak, you can pick so many body parts on him and say this is weak, this is weak, his chest is weak, his biceps are weak, his triceps are weak, his lower lats are weak, <laughs> pretty much everything is weak, but nothing is too weak. His lower lats are not great, but they're not as horrible as Rollis, for example. His stomach is a little bit protruding in the lower part, but it's not nowhere, it's nowhere near Phil Heath's stomach. His arms are a bit smaller, and most of the other guys in the top six have great arms, but his arms are not small, his arms are also big. It doesn't really matter that much, because he doesn't have very big weaknesses, very obvious weaknesses. He has some smaller body parts, smaller than the others, but he has very complete physique. And guess what? He has an amazing conditioning. That's the thing about him. At least he had it in 2018. He had some amazing conditioning. And if he manages to pull that same conditioning once again, he will be hard to beat. Hard, hard, very hard to beat. I mean, who can beat him? Brandon Curry? Rolly Winkler, Big Ram if he shows up, Phil Heath if he shows up, Kai Green will probably not gonna show up, William Bonek, not very strong lineup, all these guys have huge flaws, and we're gonna talk about that in a minute, but right now, I think my safest bet, if I was a betting man, I would bet on Sean Roden, really, because I think his chances are the highest, and he also has the momentum, he won the 2018 Mr. Olympia. But now let's talk about Phil Heath. So first of all, we're not sure if Phil is going to do it. In order for us to be sure about it, he would have to make an official statement. He did not make one yet. He made a couple of teasers, like diet starts tomorrow, or posts of him training and saying I will be back, and stuff like that, which is basically pretty obvious. It seems like he's doing a prep, but we are not 100% sure. But let's assume that he shows up. If he does, would he be able to beat Sean? Well, this depends, really. Because in 2018, Phil Heath was on. He was in better conditioning than everybody else on that stage. The only one who had similar matching conditioning would be Sean Roden. I'd say they both had similar conditioning. But Phil was off. Whether he likes to admit it or not, he was off for his standards. He is known for being super, super shredded. His skin is so thin, and he's known for that. He set up a high standard, and he needs to live up to it. And he didn't do that in 2018. His conditioning wasn't bad by any means, but it wasn't Phil Heath, that famous Phil Heath conditioning. 
aside from that, he had stomach issue. If his stomach was perfect, normal, just like Sean's, Phil would win, because Phil had better muscle development and same conditioning. His stomach, his gut was horrible, it was just a huge mess. It was really, really horrible, it was a huge weak point for him. And is he able to fix it? Who the hell knows? But let's imagine he doesn't fix it, because it's not very realistic. He didn't do it until now, it was just getting worse and worse. And also he never admitted that his stomach was a problem. He actually complained about the judging system, how he was robbed and stuff like that. So he doesn't really think that his stomach was an issue. Maybe he does, maybe he just doesn't want to say it out loud. But that's as far as we know. And if he just brings his perfect condition. In 2018 Mr. Olympia he was at 85-90% maybe. If he brings 100%, his A game, his best, will he be able to beat Sean Roden? And this will depend on the judging criteria. So many people are thinking that the judging criteria is changing. Everybody thinks that the judges are looking for more streamlined physiques without any big flaws such as asymmetry, such as bubble guts, such as obvious synthol use, and that kind of stuff. That they're looking for more aesthetic and more streamlined physiques. But this also happened in 2008 when Jay Cutler lost to Dexter Jackson. And that was the time when everybody was thinking, all right, so something is changing here. Judges are looking for smaller guys with smaller waist, not size freaks. But that wasn't the case. Simply, Dexter was the best conditioned guy and overall the most complete guy. Jay was off. And then when Jay came back in 2009, bringing better conditioning, he was a winner. He was the winner, even though he was a mass freak. And this can happen again, like it happened in 2009. 2008, a smaller guy won, in 2009, bigger guy came and basically brought better conditioning with a lot of size and won. Now, we can actually have the history repeat itself, but maybe not, we are not sure, I am not sure. There are actually many reasons for us to actually start believing that the judging criteria is different now, but then again, we are not sure, we will see that. In 2019 Mr. Olympia, if Phil Heath comes back and brings the same stomach problem with better conditioning. So if that happens and Phil wins again, now we will be sure that the judging criteria is actually the same. The only thing that changed is Phil not being on and having that horrible stomach issue. But if Phil actually comes with, let's say, 2018 conditioning, the same one, which I don't think it's likely to happen, I believe Phil will bring better conditioning in 2018 simply because he's more hungry now. He is definitely hungrier because he lost his title. He's not a Mr. Olympia anymore. And he was so close to tie the record with Ronnie Coleman and Lee Haney and even to beat them, to become the most successful bodybuilder ever, the one with the biggest amount of sandals, to have nine sandals or even ten. So I think he, if Phil comes and if he decides to compete, he will give all that he has. Because right now it's not very easy for him to win the title back. It's gonna be a struggle. So he needs to bring his A game. And if he does that, I'm sure he will. It's gonna be the question of stomach. Our judge is gonna punish him for it if he has an insane conditioning. And we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. I have no idea right now. But if actually Phil learns how to control his stomach a little bit, just like Rolly Winkler did, I think that Phil will win again. But if he doesn't change that, it's gonna be mm, close, but possible, again, and if he doesn't bring conditioning and doesn't ch change anything, if he comes the same as it was in 2018, he will not <laughs> regain his title for sure, no way, and uh, I guess he will be second place, I don't think he will go under that. So let's talk about the third place, and uh, actually let's imagine that Phil doesn't even come, which is also very likely, we're not sure if he's gonna come, Kai Green is probably not gonna come. I don't think that's even worthy speaking about. Kai never really made any kind of comment on that. No, Kai is not gonna compete. He gave up on bodybuilding. He gave up on us, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's the truth. We'll see, actually. Maybe it's not the truth, but it seems like it. It very much seems like it. So, who else will we have? Well, when I posted that poll, voting poll, majority of the people voted for Brandon Curry. That he is the biggest challenge for Sean Roden. And that's what I think as well. I think he represents the biggest challenge for Sean Roden. But, you know, his legs. His legs are his very big problem. He doesn't have the best legs. So he's not complete. 
especially from behind, especially from behind, you can see the mass difference. His upper body looks much bigger. So, for that reason, I don't think he can really beat Sean Roden, unless Sean comes off. If Sean comes on, I don't think Brandon can win, because he doesn't have big enough legs, and that can hurt him a lot. His upper body, I would say, is more impressive, but lower body is so far behind Sean Roden, so I don't think he has any chances of actually beating him. But if Big Remy actually decides to compete at Tampa Pro this year, and qualifies for the Mr. Olympia, and imagine this, imagine Big Remy coming peeled, but like carved out of stone, something like Dorian Yates conditioning, that gnarly, grainy, crisp conditioning. Imagine that. I think that would be unbeatable. I think if he comes like that, he would beat Phil Heath easily, not just Sean Roden. So I think Big Ramy has probably the biggest chances of winning this 2019 Mr. Olympia, actually after Sean Roden and Phil Heath, but it's all about the conditioning. I don't know if he can actually pull it off. He never did it so far, but maybe it happens this year. Stranger things have happened before. It's not that strange for Big Grammy to come actually conditioned. It can happen. It's a big possibility. And if that happens, he can win it easily because he has the biggest amount of muscle. He has no weaknesses. His arms are huge. His chest is full as hell and wide. His back is on point. Glutes, hamstrings, quads are one of the best in the history of the world. He's so muscular. He's big Ramy. I mean, what am I describing here? You already know how big this guy is and how big potential he has. So in my opinion, he has the biggest chances of dethroning Sean Roden, but he's a huge wild card. Will he get shredded? Will he get peeled? And that's not something we can count on because we never saw him looking like that before. And we can count on Brandon Curry. And if all of these guys, Rowley, Curry, Bonac, bring their best packages, like they have been doing for the last couple of years, many times, I think Brandon Curry will beat them, because he has kind of the best shape. Yeah, his legs are a little bit undersized, but not that much, not that obvious. He was able to beat Big Remy actually in 2018, by one spot, but his legs were actually smaller. I think in 2019 he improved the, the, the size of his legs. So I think he has even bigger chances now. But Big Grammy was off in 2018. We'll see if he can improve for 2019. But if not, I think Brandon will be again higher than him. So then we come to William Bonek. Well, William Bonek, he's a great bodybuilder. He was able to beat Sean before. He was able to beat all these other guys except Phil Heath. He won some very big shows. And so did all of these guys. Big Remy used to beat Sean Roden and the rest of the crew. Brandon Curry did beat all of them except Sean Roden and Phil Heath, who is probably not going to compete. That rhymes. And so I think that Bonac can actually come peeled, peeled to the bone. But unless somebody comes off, he cannot beat all of these guys because he doesn't have the structure for it. He doesn't have that perfect structure. His shoulders are too narrow, his waist is too wide. He just, I don't think he has that required structure for being the Mr. Olympia. If everybody comes off, which is not very likely, I mean, that's Mr. Olympia, I don't think these guys will risk it, especially not this year, when they know that the door is wide open, anybody can win it. They will all be on. And if they are all on, which is really good presumption, I don't think William will be in the top spots. I think he can take like top five or so. But we'll see. It depends on other guys because William is known for great conditioning. He will definitely bring it. These other guys may mess it up. We are not sure about them. We're not sure about Remy. We're not sure about Rolly. I'm pretty sure that Bonac will bring it and Curry as well. And Sean Roden, I do believe that he will pull it off, but based on what we saw at Pittsburgh Pro, we should be worried. It's not going to be easy for him, considering how fat he was at this cast posing. But he has time, he has all the tools necessary, and I don't think he will fail at this. I think he will do it. I think he knows what he's doing. He's an older guy, so we're going to see very, very peeled Sean Roden. And so now we come to Rolly Winkler. Rowley took third place last year, beating everybody on the lineup except Sean Roden and Phil Heath. 
Rolly was in great shape. Rolly was in great shape. He was really, really conditioned. And a couple of years ago, in a couple of shows, he was able to beat Sean Roden. But Sean wasn't at his best. He wasn't as peeled as he was in 2018. And Rolly was in really good conditioning. So if they all, they both actually bring their best game, I don't think Rolly can beat him. If Phil shows up, same thing. He cannot bring that kind of conditioning. And he has an obvious flaw. It's too obvious. His lower back, glutes and hamstrings. It's just too much. And I think his quads are not shaped ideally. So then, can he take third place? He can. He can. Probably can. And if he brings perfect conditioning, like he brought in 2018, or maybe even slightly better, he can actually even beat Brandon Curry or William Bonner. So those three guys are going to be in that mix. So nobody knows what will they do. But they're going to be in that top mix. Bonak, Brandon and Rolly. Ram is a completely wild card. He can be first, he can be sixth. But not no lower than that. Then we come to Sergio McMillan. Who is probably going to compete. I hope so. And he has an amazing structure. He has the potential to become the Mr. Olympia just so easily. But he needs to bring great conditioning. And people have been talking about this for ages. And he never did it so far. Never once. He was very good at 2016 Arnold Classic, for example. But it wasn't his best. It was maybe 90% of him. He can still trim off a little bit more of... I don't know what is that. Is it fat or water? But he can be better. He can be harder. If he can actually bring that hard, gnarly, grainy conditioning, he can <laughs> actually win. Yeah, I think so. But that's a huge wild card. The chances of him actually bringing an insane conditioning are so small that I don't think it's even worth it talking about this. So, I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's very likely. But if he does do it, he can be in the top mix. He can battle it for the top spot. But, you know, not very likely. Not very likely. I don't think he actually cares that much. And as far as the other guys out of the top six, who the hell knows who can beat that? That can be, for example, Juan Morel. I think John De La Rosa is going to look great. I think also Steve Kuklo. He can actually come and look insane. Luke Sando, if he brings his A game, if he brings something that he brought in 2019, Arnold Classic. And there is a bunch of other great bodybuilders who can crack the top 10. But that's going to be interesting to see what happens. But not as much as the top six or the winner, because you're not sure who's going to win it. We are not sure if Sean Roden can repeat his shape. We are not sure if Phil Heath will come back, if Phil Heath will bring better conditioning and better overall shape than he did in 2018. We don't know if Big Ram is even going to compete, and if he does compete, will he bring better conditioning? We don't know if Brandon Curry will improve his legs, but we are pretty sure that he won't do it. Bonac will bring probably the same thing. Rolly will probably be conditioned, well conditioned. So, in all likeliness, my take on this is if Phil Heath shows up and improves his conditioning, he has very big chances to beat Sean and retake the title. If he brings better stomach, even bigger chances to take over the throne. If he doesn't show up, Sean Roden will probably win it. The second place would be Big Remy if he brings conditioning. If not, that's going to be probably Brandon Curry. Or Brandon Curry can actually win if Sean Roden comes a little bit off. Then the next place would probably be Rolly. And the next one will be Bonac. So that's about it. That's my prediction for this 2019 Mr. Olympia based on what I saw so far. I'm probably going to make a couple of more videos until the Mr. Olympia actually happens after I get some more information. But this is going to do it for this video, guys. This is all I have to say about this Mr. Olympia. This is how I think things will play out. Whatever you think, tell me in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about 2019 Mr. Olympia. Who will win it? Who will win it? Will Phil Hill come back? Will Sean Ronan repeat his 2018 shape? Will that be enough to repeat? Will Roy Winkler come in his best shape ever and win the throne? Will Brandon Curry win the throne? Will Bonac maybe do it? Will... I don't know. Whatever you think, just comment in the comment section below. Tell me what are your thoughts on this. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And also, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.